looking at them both now, they look brilliant, okay? Zooming from the menus, you know, um, going to different apps, viewing your photos, your, you know, viewing all your media, go surfing the internet. Both devices do a good job of this, okay? However, both devices don't have the same size screen. In fact, the iPhone has a bigger screen than the Palm Pre. Uh, the iPhone has a 3.5 inch multi touch screen, and the Palm Pre has a 1.72 by 2.58 inch screen, okay? And, you know, I didn't really realize until yesterday, until I, you know, first held the Palm Pre in my hands, to exactly how small the screen actually was, you know? It's actually, you know, really small, okay? Um, you know, if you're surfing the internet, it's really not very nice. Everything's too cramped. You know, and, okay, it's not to say that you can't zoom in, but it's just a heck of a pain because even zooming in on a web page on a Palm Pre is really slow, okay? It's nothing like the experience you get on an iPhone 3GS or even a 3G, okay? So, you know, and... That just kind of annoys me because when you have a small screen, you know, viewing media, viewing, uh, you know, especially websites, it's just really annoying, okay? You just can't. Um, you know, for their own applications, it's fine, but when it just comes to content which is, you know, needs a bigger screen, it just doesn't handle it very well. And I don't think the Palm Pre does a good job with its small screen for websites. The iPhone, on the other hand, once again, you know, don't mean to be biased, I'm just saying, the iPhone, on the other hand, you know, when comparing to Palm Pre, really does a really nice nice job of its Safari web browser. Um, and, you know, it's got a good screen, you know, high resolution screen, just like the uh, Palms, and, you know, you can surf on the internet, you know, and, you know, text doesn't appear too small on the iPhone, so it's, it's, it's readable without zooming in, so it's not too much of a pain on the iPhone. Um, and then lastly, QWERTY keyboards. Yep, both have full support for QWERTY keyboards. The iPhone's got an on-screen keyboard, which can be used in portrait or landscape, and the Palm only has a plastic keyboard, which is small and can only be used in portrait. So, again, I still think the Palm loses here again, okay? You may be used to yourself to a plastic QWERTY keyboard, but for someone like me, who's used to, you know, how Apple do it, it's horrible, okay? So, I guess I would definitely admit that I may be a bit biased in saying this, but the plastic keyboard on the Palm Pre, you know, the keys are too small, okay? They're too small, the plastic, they're hard, and it's really a pain in the neck, you know? When you want to capitalize a letter, you have to press the stupid orange button on the, on the side, or, or that shift button, they're too small, and then at the same time press another character. If and then you know it doesn't seem to have any kind of caps lock feature. It's a pain in the neck. It's really annoying. I really do hate it. Okay, um, so biased or not biased, you know, you can think whatever you want, but the keyboard is horrible. Okay, whereas the iPhone, you know, you've got the keyboard in portrait. Most apps support the keyboard also in landscape, so you've got a nice big keyboard with that big screen, which is an on-screen keyboard, and you can use it easily, and when you don't want it, it just goes away. Um, you know, so the iPhone keyboard is much, much better, you know, it's not a stupid plastic button, which is too small, and, you know, I don't have big fingers, okay, what if someone's got, you know, big fingers, you know, they're going to have problems on the Palm Pre, okay, they might they might even have problems on using the iPhone one, but not as much as using the Palm Pre's keyboard, I mean, that has a really small screen, okay, so, you know, I think definitely Palm Pre in this kind of round has lost it a bit, um, which is annoying. But there you go. Sorry, pal. Okay, and next of all, the uh, phone OS. Okay, we're going to be talking a little, uh, a little bit about some of the basic things of the OS. You know, on the iPhone, we're on version 3.13, and we're on the web OS 1.3.5.1 for the Palm. Okay, iPhone uh, App Store and the App Catalog. <laughs> You can't even compare the App Catalog to the App Store, okay? There is no comparison. The App Store wins it hands down, okay? There may be some apps on the App Store which are rubbish, but most apps are brilliant apps. And there's over, what, 140,000 and counting applications on the App Store now? You know, the support from the developers which Apple have got for the App Store is just unbelievable, okay? You don't have anything like that on the App Catalog, okay? So, I'm not even going to bother continuing with this subject. App Store wins it hands down, okay? Um, multitasking. The i the uh, Palm Pre, sorry, the Palm Pre wins this hands down. Okay, iPhone it does have some sort of 
uh, multitasking. So if you go on the phone app and you're calling and you you know you're calling someone and then you know you can always call and keep on chatting to them using the phone app while surfing the internet or going on the app store or whatever or checking out other third party apps made by developers. Uh, which you know that's really the extent of the multitasking on iPhone. Apart from that, there is no other kind of multitasking. Uh, Palm Pre has full support for multitasking. You know you can you know just, uh, you know make a phone call, search the internet, check your emails, go on your contacts, play a game, whatever, and still have all those apps all open at the same time, which is really good. You know, a lot of people find multitasking useful, uh, and you know personally, I think it's a nice feature. You know, once again, not being biased here. The multitasking is a really nice feature. Now, I have said before they rather not have multitasking because it drains battery life. Because obviously, you need more CPU power. Um, however, whether they come for, uh, with a better alternative to multitasking in the next iPhone OS is, you know, debatable. Maybe Apple could come with something better, and then maybe the multitasking and power might seem, you know, kind of dull. Maybe it might seem pretty pointless then. You know, so you could argue it from that point of view. Um, yeah, push notifications, so, you know, nice push notifications on the iPhone, um, where you get developers to, you know, they can send you latest notifications telling you about up app updates and things like that, and you have a similar kind of thing on the, uh, Palm, where obviously you've got new email, you know, a phone call, whatever, all notifications come down at the bottom of the screen, where you can then scroll for your notifications in this little bar at the bottom of the screen, and then click on the one you want. And it's kind of similar to the iPhone, except they come on the screen, and it has an option to save, view, or dismiss, or whatever. Okay, uh, MMS. Yep, both devices support full MMS. So you know, send you pictures, videos, whatever, sound, your location, uh, contact file, whatever you want. It's all there. Copy, cut, and paste, or cut, copy, paste. Um, yep, both devices test on both. You know, really easy to use on both devices. Uh, saves time while typing out, and that's it, really. Good, good feature to have. Uh, spotlight search on iPhone, yeah. So the iPhone, you know, now it's got all these apps. You know, there are eventually going to be people with a lot of content of apps, music, videos, notes, calendars, things like that. And searching through it with Spotlight is really easy. You know, it's really quick search, gets going, and it's really nice to use. So it saves you time once again. Um, now that we've got Exchange support. And that's good because you know that means you can uh, link them up to your latest mail online. You can link them up to your you know your um, uh, mo if you've got an iPhone, your mobile me. So for example, you can link them up to all your photos on certain servers, your calendars with different servers. So you know you can update your calendars, so one updates it back, and you know you can set schedules for each other, which is really useful. And this is all over the air. It can be done with a 3G signal or on Edge or even the GPRS or your Wi-Fi signal if you want as well. Uh, now, iPhone obviously does have Mobile Me, which I'll be going into later. Um, so, and also over the air updates. Yeah, both devices have over the air updates. So, for the iPhone, over the air updates just means you can update your applications, which you bought from the App Store, as long as they're not over 10 megabytes using a 3G connection or a Wi Fi connection if you wish to. Okay? With Palm, this is different. You can update your applications, you can update the whole Palm Web OS right from the Palm over the air uh, for free, okay? As long as your carrier supports the data needed. You know, you, you've got to have some sort of data plan, um, which here in the UK we do on the O2, they have a unlimited data plan like there is on the O2 one for the iPhone, okay? And that's kind of where iPhone lags behind because the iPhone OS has to be updated via iTunes only. They won't let you update it on the iPhone itself. You know, you need iTunes. Uh, but you know, that's not even too much of pain. You know, I may be a little bit biased here, but it's not too much pain going to iTunes. Uh, so, you know, why not? Uh, not much difference there then. And then safety features, yeah, they both got uh, backups, so on the iPhone you back up as soon as it gets connected to iTunes, and it's got optional encryption support, so you know, encrypt your backups, keep them secure and keep them safe, so no one can just tamper with them. Uh, yeah, the Palm, so the Palm uh, backs up all your contacts, all your media, right on over the air to the Palm servers using your Palm profile, and the Palm profile is not an optional service, you have to have it, but it is free, okay? Which is part of the thing I'm going to come on to about mobile me. Both got remote erase, so if your device is lost or stolen, you know, you can just log on to your Palm profile or to your mobile me account and erase the device or delete the device so there is no device, uh, you know, so no one can get hold of it.